Hello, my name is Li Jia Zhang, a rocket factory girl turned writer. I'm based here in Beijing. Today, I'm going to talk about the inspiration behind my debut novel, Lotus. Since my last book is a memoir, people often ask me if I've written another autobiography. I'm always quick to point out that this is purely a work of fiction, uh, not another memoir based on personal experience. But there is a strong personal connection. The novel was inspired by my grandma's story. Some 20 years ago, in front of my grandma's deathbed, I learned a long-kept secret that my beloved grandma served as a courtesan in her youth. Of course, I was shocked. Then my mother explained her story. My grandma was orphaned when she was six, and she was then adopted by her aunt. At 14, when she blossomed into a beautiful young woman, the uncle sold her into a brothel. Ever since then, I've become fascinated with prostitution, as I often wondered how my grandmother coped in her brothel behind lit up red lanterns. Grandma's fate was a common one for a poor orphan at that time. Today, the sex trade has become the fastest growing industry in China, stuffed by some 10 million girls. Though it is illegal, it is difficult to ignore. Once during a reporting trip to Shenzhen, I walked into a salon. One of the three giggling girls in revealing dresses told me they didn't know how to cut hair. I looked down the floor and saw no hair shavings. It then dawned on me what kind of establishment it was. After all, we were in Shenzhen, China's capital of things. I chatted with the girls and learned they were all migrant workers from China's poor hinterland. The youngest was in her early teens, the same age as my grandma started out. How did the girls end up here, I wondered, and how did they reconcile the trade with their conservative upbringing? It was the time that the seed of the lotus was planted, and I thought through exploring the lives of this woman, I could explore some of the important issues faced by China today, the rural-urban divide, the growing gender inequality, and of course the tug of war between tradition and modernity. To research for the book, I interviewed many sex workers and I made friends with them. At one point, I worked for an NGO dedicated to helping female sex workers. I visited many massage hair salons, distributed condoms, and chatting with the girls for hours on end. It was a time well spent. I wrote a novel in English, not an easy task. I started to teach myself English uh, while still greasing machine parts at my rocket factory in Nanjing. That was many years ago. Learning English was intended escape route, but it changed my life. Now I'm a writer, social commentator, writing English for international publications like New York Times, The Guardian. I made a conscious decision not to write in English my mother tongue for many reasons. To start with, writing in English frees me politically. So in this way, I can write freely, I write about a sensitive subject, such as prostitution in China. Also, it frees my inhibition as a writer. I think if I had written the novel in Chinese, the sex scene would have been less detailed. I'm hugely excited about my first book. I'm eager to share stories inspired by so many remarkable women. The lead character, Lotus, is not based on the story of my grandmother, but both women are strong, resilient, and both are survivors. In a way, this book is a tribute to my grandmother, who was the most special person in my life. Thank you for watching. Thank you.